discipline yourself. Discipline yourself. I got to say it just one more time. Discipline yourself. Hmm. Sometimes this is one of the most difficult things that people have trouble in is discipline. When you can discipline yourself in certain areas and hopefully it uh, uh, fall into all areas of your life, you will see such a great transition. You will see such a great transition. So discipline is something you have to develop a habit to do. Because it's just not easy. I remember when uh, when we say discipline, I know that I ended up becoming a vegetarian. And because the way meat was processing in my body, I didn't know how detrimental it felt inside my body until I started taking it out my body. And I felt so different. But the discipline came in. Whenever a craving came along, when a craving came along, at the time I was still craving meat, you had to be disciplined to let it go. You had to be disciplined to walk away. People be going, chicken, anybody? You want some chicken? You want a, you want a chicken wing? I said, I'm vegetarian. Does that mean you can't eat chicken? That's what that mean. They like, here, it smells good, don't it? I went, whoop. People, woo, they be doing you wrong. <laughs> they be doing you wrong for real. I'll be like, dang, what they trying to do? They trying to, they trying to get me. <laughs> the discipline, you have to find discipline in every area of your life. You know, people who worship God, they have to have a discipline. A discipline, that means they have a, a time and a moment that they spend with God. If they discipline. You know, if they discipline, though, you know what they say, uh, hashtag prayer life, hashtag prayer life help you. Y'all, we have to be disciplined. This is disciplining yourself. That's the best thing you can do for you. That's the best thing you can do for you in whatever area of life you need it in. OK, so I'm only giving you the words of Eric Thomas. He's a wise motivational speaker and he's changing lives everywhere.